as a woman, I am a planner. And I kind of just had it all planned out. Like by 21, I was gonna be dating. And I was gonna be married by 22. And I'd certainly have kids by 25. And it went not even close to that. I think as little girls, we dream of this perfect marriage. And now with our social media and our society, we just portray that um, you're not cool unless you're dating all the time and you're not cool unless your engagement ring is posted on Instagram and a really cool picture and I think we get caught up in the glamour of a relationship and we seek that more than we do a genuine relationship with someone. In college, I feel like I was surrounded by people who didn't believe in God and I thought that was okay. Um, I was like, oh, all my friends don't need to believe in God. And I think I gave into a lot of peer pressure of like, this is cool, this is normal, everyone's doing this, you know, um, it's okay. And so I'd hang out with my one group of friends who was like, oh yeah, like I'm dating a couple guys and I'm going on dates all the time. And my other group of friends is like, I'm waiting for marriage. I'm in a Bible study with some really nice guys and maybe something. I felt like everyone was seeking a guy all the time. And I, I always knew who God was, but I felt like I got disconnected because I didn't surround myself with people who had the same beliefs in me and no one to hold me accountable to say, Abby, like, this is not who you are. You're not doing the right thing. I was surrounded by people that said, that's cool, you know, and encouraged living for this world instead of um, why God brought us here. So I think I thought that God applied to everything in my life but relationships. Um, and I don't know why I felt that way. I knew what God spoke about relationships and what I was supposed to do, but I took it into my own hands, which never goes well, and just made a lot of bad decisions. I think I had a lot of unnecessary heartbreak, things that I didn't need to go through, but I felt like um, making my own decisions just led me down that path. I dated a guy here in Sioux City um, who I thought I could always fix. Um, you know, like he wasn't really a Christian. Um, he believed in God, but really had no interest in going to church. And I thought, oh, I can fix him. Like, I'll date him. After a while, he'll want to come to church with me. And after almost two years, I got to the point where I'm like, yeah. Like, why are you sacrificing the beliefs that you have and what you want just to say that you're dating someone? I felt like I need to take this more seriously. I need to be strong in what I believe and stick to it. And if that means I'm the single girl for a really long time who believes in God and is strong in her faith and on fire about, about God and Jesus and what she's doing at church, then that's who I'm going to be. I'm just going to be that single person, which is fine. I feel like God didn't ever mean for us to go through life alone, but that doesn't necessarily mean alone in regards to a relationship like marriage. I think He designed us to be in community with other believers. Um, and the way I found that, I believe here at Sunnybrook, is just by getting involved. Um, I've just constantly just volunteered at every opportunity I could to get involved, whether it was a group for married people or it was a group for kids and I don't have any kids, and just jumping in and getting involved and meeting parents who are outstanding in their faith that can mentor to me and meeting single moms who are struggling and learning about that and talking about marriage with people who are married and who are going through the ups and downs that they can teach me something. Um, I think single people have a lot to offer. Um, we can be in any group. We don't have to just be in a singles group. Um, and I think there's a hard part too when, when single Christians do come together. It's not a match.com situation. Like we can hang out as just single 20 something year old people. I think in the last six years or so of becoming an adult, I think I've um, found who I want to be, and that person is someone who lives their life for God. Today I feel, I feel confident, I feel, I don't feel lonely, I don't feel a lot of desire, um, and I feel like I can look at other people and in their relationship instead of feeling envy, I can um, enjoy them. I can enjoy the relationship that they have and pray that someday I'll have that same relationship.